Welcome! This is the first edition of The Rundown with Christy Graham, LPCS, RPTS. That's me. I'm the president at Acorn Counseling Education Services, where our mission is to strengthen Denton County by empowering and educating parents and children. Acorn's Christian staff works to effect positive change through a combination of team-oriented, evidence-based, therapeutic, and educational services. Our mission is simple. Stronger children, stronger families, and a stronger community. In support of this mission, I thought it would be helpful to go through the alphabet soup of mental health providers. LPCSLMSW PHD RPTS LMFT LCDC MD Psychiatrist and Psychologist Now I've sing my alphabet soup Next time, won't you sing with me? <laughs> I have to have a lot of fun. I am a play therapist. Um, there are rules and regulations, statutes and laws that govern the types of interventions each of these licenses can use. I am most familiar with LPC and RPT, since those are the licenses and registrations I hold. I'll talk about them in more depth and maybe gloss over the other licenses that I have contact with. LPC is call, is a licensed professional counselor. An LPC supervisor is a person who can train other people to be an LPC. LPC interns are licensed professionals who have all of the education but not enough experience to be considered a licensed professional counselor. These licenses are regulated by states and statutes set out by the Texas Legislature, and they are um, under the Texas State Board of Examiners, as are many other licenses. LPCs are primary mental health license in the state of Texas, as are LMFWs, uh, LMFTs, Licensed Marriage and Family Therapists, um, LMSW, ACP, a licensed a social worker, a licensed master's level social worker with an advanced clinical practitioner. These are all able to do uh, diagnosing through the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual and pretty much adhere to very similar but not the same ethical guidelines. Licensed professional counselors are master's level or PhD level clinicians and they have specialized in learning about psychology, systems, uh, and ways of using talk, play, and art to help people to express and learn different kinds of behavior. We also are um, very good at doing testing. I don't do a lot of testing simply because I don't really like it, but I have all the education and the qualifications to do that if I so chose. Uh, speaking of testing, psychologists are the most likely to do testing. They have um, lots of education in testing and using testing in therapy. Uh, there are some therapists, uh, psychologists who don't do any therapy and there are others who do uh, a 50-50 blend and some who do only therapy. Uh, but they do typically use uh, more uh, testing in, in their therapy. Um, they are also typically uh, PhDs. Uh, Non-PhD level psychologists are called psychological associates and must be under the supervision of a PhD person. Um, my registration as a play therapist is governed not by a state board or a legislative body at all. It is governed by the Association for Play Therapy who sets out rules and regulations on our uh, continuing education hours and um, some best practices. But it is simply an identification for people who focus on children under the age of 12. Um, I do not typically recommend anyone under the age of 12 to see someone who is not a registered play therapist simply because I think that 
that is the easiest way to know what someone's uh, continuing education hours look like and what their focus and um, orientation is. Other people that I do re recommend for children under the age of 12, I have looked at their particular CEUs, experience, and uh, their outlook on uh, children. It's a case-by-case -case basis, and I really recommend if you don't know the particular qualifications of the practitioner you are recommending or referring to, please stick to our PTs registered play therapist for people under the age of 12. Um, uh, there is a way to find out who are registered play therapists in the area. You can go to a uh, www.a4pt.org and search for your registered play therapist. Um, okay, so you can have an LCDC. They are people who have a specific education in regards to chemical dependency counseling. They, uh, I'm not positive what their educational requirements are because I do believe that they're different. They may not be a, a full uh, master's level clinician, but they do have experience and education and continuing education for uh, chemical dependency problems. I am not a person that you want to refer a person with chemical dependency issues to. Uh, uh, so you want to make sure that the people that you refer to have education and uh, licenses uh, around the issues that you're sending them to. People who can give medications in the study of Texas are psychiatrists and MDs. Psychiatrists are a medical doctor who has can focused their practice on psychotropic drugs and their interactions and how to find the correct drug for each person. I definitely think that if you are on more than one psychotropic drug, you should be seeing a psychiatrist. They are age specific. I, I would absolutely only take my child to a, a pediatric psychiatrist. They are very difficult to find, as are all psychiatrists. <laughs> But um, children's bodies react differently than adults, and it is really important that the person who is working with your child have experience with psychotropic drugs and uh, children. So I hope this was helpful. I wanted to keep it short, simple, and sweet. You will find this attached to uh, some notes that I am going to send out that, that have links to the different websites that could give you information both for registered play therapy and LPCs and the state board for um, a psychologist and other people. Uh, be very careful about who you are recommending because uh, it's parents and um, adults who are looking for help can get very overwhelmed very easily and if you're having trouble figuring out exactly who to recommend for them and what all these alphabet soups mean, give me a call and I will try to help you figure out who is a good person to refer to. If I can't help you, we'll try to find somebody who can. I hope you enjoyed this rundown with Christy Graham.